All right. And now let's go to uh, section 6.3, Matrix Operations and their applications with me, Mr. Hain. Good to have you guys back. Um, let's get going. First question, what is a matrix? There's a bad joke about the movie The Matrix. I won't make it. I think I just did. Okay, so in all seriousness, what is a matrix? Uh, a matrix is a set of numbers inside brackets. So each number is an element inside of that matrix. So if we look at checkpoint 1A, we see that we have six elements inside of this matrix, and they are all grouped together and called matrix A. Now, in matrix application, applications, we're always going to use capital letters. Um, so we have capital A, and we have six elements in the first row. There are three rows and two columns. In the first row, in the first column, is the number five. And in fact, if we look, like I said, we had three rows and th or, yeah, three rows and two columns we see that that is actually a 3 by 2 matrix. Um, so we can refer to specific elements within the matrix, um, as in element 1, 2. Um, there is no comma there. Um, that's row 1, column 2. And so row 1, column 2, of course, is negative 2. Um, so let's try some quick ones. Um, what's uh, A21? If you said negative 3, you're correct. And what's uh, A32? And if you said positive 6, you're right. All right, cool. Let's get some of that um, good, just basic groundwork out of the way. And now we're going to go to adding and subtracting matrices. All right, so these can only be done if the matrices are equal. And what I mean by equal is that the number of rows and columns, so they have equal number of rows and columns. So for example, um, our first example here in bright pink, I have two rows and two columns in my first matrix. I have two rows and two columns in my second. And the way that matrix, uh, adding and subtracting matrices works is I have negative three, which is in, in the first row, in the first column, added to the element in the first row in the second first column of the second matrix. So all of them add only the ones that match together. Um, so you'll see that each time here. So negative three plus six is equal to positive three. Positive 5 plus negative 1, of course, is equal to positive 4. 9 plus 0, of course, is 9. And negative 3 plus negative 5 is negative 8. All right, so the same thing that works with subtraction. And we see that we can uh, check to see, again, we have three rows and two columns in the first matrix. And we also have three rows and two columns in the second matrix. So each element only subtracts the matching element in the second matrix. So um, 2 minus negative 3 is positive 5. 5 minus 9 is negative 4. Negative 4 minus 5 is equal to negative 9. 3 minus 1, of course, is 2. And so on, of course, we get our answer matrix here, which is um, a 3 by 2, which is 5, negative 9, 6, negative 4, 2, and 7. Uh, excellent. OK, so. Um, I'm going to be putting up another video that's not included with these with some basic matrix operations uh, on a TI calculator, on a TI-92 or 93 or 93 plus or 93 plus silver edition. They're all the same dang calculator. Um, I don't know why they named it so much. Um, I guess just to get us to keep on buying them. Um, so let's have you do these. Um, yes, you can use your calculator. No, you don't have to. You can do these simply by hand. Um, so I'll uh, go ahead and pause the video, and glad that you're back. If you, of course, got this answer, then you are correct. Um, let's get another example out of the way. Uh, go ahead and pause the video. And if you got this as your answer matrix, then you are set and correct. All right, let's plow ahead. This seems like it's a pretty straightforward um, exploration of matrices. And, of course, we have scalar multiplication next. Um, it sounds really scary, guys, is not. All I'm doing is taking this number outside. I'm multiplying it to each element individually. So I have 8 times 6, 8 times negative 1, 8 times negative 3, and 8 times 2. These are all simple multiplication problems. My answer matrix is in pink. Excellent. Um, so we're going to kick this up a level, and we're going to see if you can um, see what I'm doing here. I have matrix A and matrix B that are given to us here. What I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to put them into an equation. I don't have to necessarily express all of these numbers. Um, I can just use the names of the matrix. Through the powers of scalar multiplication, 
I can now add them because the matrices are equal. And I've got my answer. Awesome. Uh, this extends to solving matrix equations. All right, so matrix equations are going to be asking you um, to solve for an unknown matrix. So given A and B, I'm, I have an example, 3 times X plus B equals A. And of course, these are all capital letters, and that helps us um, re recognize as mathematicians that we are indeed dealing with matrices. All right, so now that we have these matrices, I'm going to be solving for matrix X. Uh, so I subtract matrix B from each side which gives us this simple statement. It's like a two-step equation. Instead of dividing, I'm going to multiply by one-third, which some may argue correctly is the exact same thing. And here we go. Um, so I know A minus B is this matrix here, and all I'm now going to do is divide each of these elements by three. Kaboom! All right, so let's uh, go ahead and take a look at this next matrix equation. Um, it's similar but very different. I just switched the places of A and B. Go ahead and pause the video. And all right, if you got this as your answer for when you solved the second matrix equation, then you're right on track. This is very straightforward stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're going to be multiplying. All right, these are a little bit more complicated. As you multiply, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to give you these two matrices. Um, every single time you're multiplying matrices, you always want to check if it's possible before going to the calculator. If you just put the matrices, matrices into the calculator and start doing it sometimes without checking, you end up with something that says error DIM mismatch. That means error dimension, dimension mismatch. And before you go through the trouble of entering in large matrices, uh, just set up this little table. So A times B is matrix A, it's a two by two. And here's matrix B, which is also a two by two matrix. Okay, that's just their size. I'm gonna check to see if um, the, in, the, the columns of matrix A are equal to the rows of matrix B. They are, so it checks out. And I wanna know the size of my answer matrix. And so the outside, the rows of matrix A and the columns of matrix B give me the sign, the size of the matrix. All right, cool. So if you put these in your calculator, um, then kaboom, you'll see uh, this on your home screen if you're using a TI calculator or equivalent, um, Texas Instruments calculator. And here you go, 7, 6, 13, and 12. All right. So um, let's check to see if these work. Um, they look really odd. I have one row and three columns, and here I have uh, three rows, but one column. So I, I set up my chart here, and of course, uh, the two inner numbers, or the columns of A, match the rows of B. So yes, I can um, multiply these two together, and my answer will just be one single number in a matrix. And if you put that in your calculator, of course you're going to get 30. So why don't you try the next one, B times A, on your own. Check the chart. Here's how it is. Does it work? Yes, it does. And the size is three by three. You throw them in your calculator, multiply them the other way around. Kaboom, you've got that uh, nine element answer matrix, a three by three answer matrix. Sweet, so let's continue multiplying matrices. Let's check to see if this one will work. All right, two rows in the first matrix match up with two, Our two columns in the in the first matrix match up with two rows in the second matrix. So that does work if you put it in your calculator. Kaboom, there you go. Uh, for the second one, checkpoint 7B, um, I have th four columns and two uh, rows. If I set up the table, you see that does not work. Of course, that is a, dim a mismatched dimension or size. And so there is no answer. It's undefined. We just don't know. It can't be done. And of course, that's the end of matrix operations and their applications. This was a great time. Straightforward introduction to uh, what matrices are and how we can add, subtract, and multiply with them and scale or multiply with them. Thank you for your time. And that was uh, matrix operations section 6.3 and their applications with me, Mr. Hain. I'll see you in the next video.